Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Today I'm going to show you how to create a data source for reports and how to build the reports using data source. OK, let's see. So log into your instance. Uh, in the previous videos, we have created a report called uh, Active Problems. OK, so you can see here in this report, the active problems, OK, all the list of active problems, it will be available. OK, and this condition is active is equal to true and table is problems. OK. So now what I want is I want to know OK, how many active I want to create a active problems, new active problems, OK, or resolve active problems. OK, or root cause analysis active problem. I want to create different different kind of reports. OK, or uh, based upon the priority. OK, low uh, low priority active problems what are all there. OK, so I want uh, to create so uh, new reports. If I want to create new reports again, I need to select the problem is equal to tab problem. Table is equal to problem. Uh, active true. Uh, active is equal to true all these things. So instead of doing these things, what I will do is I will convert this report to as a data source. So how I will do as I how I will convert this report as a data source. OK, uh, here uh, you can save as a data source. OK. So by clicking on that one, OK, I can create a data source. OK, see active is true. Problem is true. OK, active problems active problem okay active problems and submit it submit it okay now go back to the report go back to the report and create new okay i want to create a report okay um new act active problems okay uh with new state with new state instead of table i will select data source data source i will select as active problems which we created it okay so when you select active data source okay then automatically you can see the data source active problems and data active is run okay and just run it so now you see active problems only the state 15. OK. Uh, all the active problems are defined. OK, and then you just select a condition called uh, state. OK, state is new and run it simple. Right, no need to select a, a table problem and active true and everything. Just you need to add a state. So state is equal to new on that active is equal to true problems filter. OK, that's it. No need to add active is equal to true again and uh, all these things. So this will help whenever you are creating uh, more reports based upon some set of data. OK, so at that time uh, you need to if you convert uh, a report to the data source and then you can build more reports using the data source. OK, for one or two reports is OK, it's not necessary to create a data source. OK, for more more reports using the same set of uh, records, then you can you can you can create a data source and uh, use the data source to create a report. OK, that's it. And also uh, you can configure like the n number of types. OK, uh, we have active problems in list view, but uh, you can configure it in pi or any number of reports using the data source also. OK, that's it. Yeah, thank you. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.